Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Rune News. My name is Ryan Ryan. This week, we have some quality of life changes to Old School RuneScape, and next week, there is no update for Old School RuneScape because Valamore is coming the week after that. But don't worry, we absolutely will be doing Rune News next week because we want to see exactly where the Tebow is before that beautiful predicted drop by Wade Green in the Grand Exchange segment which we will be covering today in Rune News. Excuse me, I'm out of breath. I've been running up and down the stairs today. Otherwise, um, yeah, don't have too much else to share. We can jump straight into the news today. I got my first Arcane Prayer Scroll on the Iron Man this week. My first Prayer Scroll from Chambers of Zerk. So I no longer am sitting on two Elder Moles and one Dragon Hunter Crossbow. So I want to know what you guys down below have achieved this week in Old School RuneScape, specifically in Rare Drops, but also any achievements that you're quite proud of. Put them in the comment section down below so I can see how well you guys are progressing your accounts. Hit the like and subscribe button while you're there. I would greatly appreciate the support. Trying to hit 100k subs by the end of the year. And uh, that'll make me a very happy person. My name is Ryan Ryan. And you're watching Rune News. I'm a fucking god, eh? Just one take the shit out of that. This week's Old School RuneScape update consists of some quality of life changes to the game. We were expecting a Wilderness update initially. <coughs> As per the Winter Summit, we were initially expecting a Wilderness update before Valamore. However, they seem to still be polling that content and adjusting it, so that's now coming after Valamore. Starting off with this week's update, we have the collection log. Now, they've changed the way that it looks. I'm not sure if this is something you can change in the settings. It doesn't state that anywhere, but it's a new, better laid out system, which I personally like the look of so far, but we'll see when the game's back online and we can actually see how the collection log looks. And I'll give you my opinion tomorrow when I'm live. Last man standing changes. Now, if you don't do LMS, that's totally fine. I do recommend it, however, because it is good fun. It's a great way to just rag a couple of people and practice your PKing, which is handy when going for a Void Waker. It's always good to be able to anti-PK because you will always make more money fighting back against PKs than you will bossing in the wilderness and that's a guarantee there's no better money to be made than anti-PKing you can make some serious dosh especially when they fuck up so with last man standing basically there is an issue well uh, you call it an issue there's a lot of bots in LMS right and that's a blessing and a curse because it means games are constant frequent and you always have a game going so you can always make money and it's always an active mini game but the bots are also really annoying because when you have only three real players or eight real players even in the game and they're all dead, you're kind of just at the end of the game. The best part of LMS is being fully geared with a 1v1 to win the game against another fully geared player. Unfortunately, half the time, I would say more than half the time, it's just a bunch of bots dying to gas. What this is doing is uh, basically killing the bots faster or forcing them into the circle a lot faster. Not just the bots though, also the players that want to AFK in a corner and just farm points by surviving as long as possible. This is going to make that a lot harder. It's going to force LMS to be a lot more uh, compact and a lot more consistent, which is absolutely a massive W for LMS. This is honestly going to make the games, uh, hopefully, a lot faster, a lot more consistent. After 10 minutes in the minigame, the fog mechanics will match their current behavior. So essentially, this is stopping people from hiding in the gas, whether you're a bot or a player, and giving you the opportunity to man the fuck up and fight some of the people in LMS. This is awesome, especially for those who actively play. Next, we have an update to the settings of clans and group Iron Man, where you can now have your combat achievements broadcasted. If you want it, fucking turn it on. And then, of course, forestry. Now, Twitch's gloves will work with redwood trees, but uh, you don't get... You only get clue scroll nests from redwood trees. I don't even know what Twitch's gloves do. I just heard that they're really good and everyone loves them. So uh, that must be good. Uh, if you are doing a forestry event and you get an item, it'll be placed in your inventory automatically provided you have space. And the dryad has overcome her shyness and her event is no longer blocked by wandering NPCs in small spaces. Had no idea that was a thing. So that's good. Maybe they should just, you know, speed that entire minigame up in general because it's a pretty shit event. Other changes, typically... There's a fuck all going on. They've just removed the League's Force stuff from uh, Lumbridge. Uh, clue scroll drops by, uh, sorry, clue scrolls dropped by a player now last one hour on the ground rather than two minutes. This does not change existing behavior for clue scrolls dropped by NPCs. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can now drop your clue scrolls. You got an hour to juggle it. That's kind of busted, actually. That, that's going to change it. I think that might change a lot to do with clue scrolls in the future. I don't know, let me know down below if that's going to make any difference. I, I feel like that's going to help juggling crew scrolls a lot. The lightning circle is now brighter and more visible in both Caro and Invideon. Just more bullshit no one cares about, so other changes. Once again, full of garbage. And Valamore is released on the 20th of March, so there is no game update next week, but there is absolutely, hopefully, a Rune News episode next week. We're going to go over the Valamore stuff, we're going to have a look at some Tebow stuff, 
and we're going to have a lot of fun. So make sure you're here next week for Rune News. But that is all this week for the Grand Exchange, Grand Exchange, Old School RuneScape update for this week. The Grand Exchange update is coming right now. Wade Green is eager to get on top of that Tebow. But first, let me give you a very small and frequent update on RuneScape 3, which everyone knows and loves to shit on because the game's garbage. Next week, Old School RuneScape does not have an update. However, RuneScape 3 will have an update. And unless they are deleting the game from the internet for the rest of time, it doesn't matter what the update would be. Comparatively, Old School RuneScape will always be in a better space with zero updates than RuneScape 3 will be with any update because RuneScape 3 is fucking dog shit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Grand Exchange segment of Rune News. My name is Wade Green, and the Christmas crackers are fucking popping off. This is bad for Viral Traders and Death Matches because they are using these to farm gold, which you should all be aware of on the Christmas cracker video on this channel. If you don't know, you should check it out down below because it's a good way to make money. This price is false. They're actually going for about 1 mil GP, even more than that at the moment. People are trading these in mass numbers. They are limited items that only spawn through Christmas events. So make sure you grab Christmas crackers and just mark the price up and sell them because real world traders and deathmatchers won't know what to do with themselves. This is an illegal way to play the game for them. So you may as well profit off of these dickheads before they make their money and bounce. Next, one of the biggest losses of the week is the Magus Ring. Now this ring is, uh, along with other Desert Treasure 2 rings, are all overhyped, overpriced garbage. Yes, they're best in slot for max DPS. They're not worth the money they're fucking printed on. All right, Lightbearer is really the supreme ring because of its value as well. All the way through the game, other than reasons, well, situations where you would use the suffering like Zora, for example. So get yourself a Lightbearer. Fuck these rings off unless you have the spare cash for them, but they're guaranteed to keep dropping. They might spike through the Colosseum hype. It'll last about a day, maybe a week. Then they're going to dip because I guarantee you special attacks and tanking with recoil damage is going to be far more effective. With the Echo Boots coming out, it's going to make the suffering slightly less useful, but it's still going to be a very valuable ring. These rings are nothing but speed running chasers that like to just roll the dice and take a lot of damage. Light bearer supremacy, remember that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The Twisted Bow is dropping hard. I did tell you, I fucking said it would. People who are merging the Twisted Bow to profit off of everyone for the uh, Fortis Coliseum, they're gonna hate me because this is what happens when I expose the truth for you guys trying to scam bigger idiots in the game. Anyone trying to merge this, okay? They're idiots. People getting merged are bigger idiots. Anyone that's falling for this in general, losing money, I fucking gotcha. Don't worry, I'm the smartest fucking person in the game for a reason. Wade Green always comes out on top. The T-Bow is dropping. Now this will spike at some point. It will go back up. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually peak past this, but during the Colosseum hype, like within hours of the update, before and after, this will go up in price. Remember that. If you're gonna hold it and try to sell it, that's gonna be your crunch point, but it is not worth playing that game if all you have is the money for one T-Bow. You want to be doing this if you can afford 5, 10, 15, because otherwise you're not making money and you're risking too much to get scammed. This is going to drop, and 1.4 bill is an ideal situation for T-Bows to drop and a decent value price point. People are worried about this hitting max cash stack. I'd worry about it hitting below 1.4 bill. That's a bigger fucking problem. The T-Bows likely to keep dropping. This looks fucking beautiful. Make sure it does keep dropping, because all that's happening when the price goes up is you're getting merged for your own money, and it's not worth it. You're just getting fucking scammed, but it's all legal scamming through the Grand Exchange. And the premium price point of the Mole Slippers has finally settled out. This is about as low as they're going to hit for a while. It may dip up and down like, you know, most prices do, but as far as the stock projections go, Mole Slippers will be peaking from this point onwards with the Colosseum coming out. Once that hype dies down, Mole Slippers will be hitting the fucking moon at 30 mil a pair. Make sure you grab yourself some Mole Slippers today and become a rich cunt tomorrow. You want to be as high up the mountain as possible. It's not a triangle, it's not a pyramid, it's a mountain, it's a hill. You want to be up the top of the hill, you want to be the king of the fucking hill, which is me currently, you want to be as close to me as possible. Tell your friends about Mole Slippers once you bought yours, they will make money, you'll make money. You don't believe me, they don't believe you, you watch this segment, you show them this segment, you get yourself some fucking money with the Mole Slippers, buy Mole Slippers today, become a rich cunt tomorrow. My name is Wade Green, ladies and gentlemen, it's been good seeing you, I'll see you next week. Good luck on the TiVo. Our first Iron Man moment for the week goes to a non-Iron Man known as Good Day to you all. You guys might remember him. He's a frequent feature in the Iron Man moments for Old School RuneScape on Rune News. This guy got the Baron Pet at 302 kills. He plays in a standard client. No mobile, I'm pretty sure. No Rune Light. No GPU plugin. 
barely any tile markers. I don't think he uses any. I'm pretty sure it's the standard Java client. Uh, I think it's due to his uh, processing power on his computer. And he's pulling off fucking Desert Treasure 2 kills and pets. What a champion. Next up, we have 5G Internet pulling the Void Waker Hilt from... Who is that? RTO. Yep, he's not an Iron Man, but he got the Void Waker Hilt. Huge. Now, for our final moment of the week, you guys might remember Samantha. Last week, she got 99 fishing. This week, she got 99 thieving. It felt like posting it as if I was going to feature two 99s in the row and ruin news. Okay, Group Iron Man came out three years ago, and you're only just maxing one of the fastest and most AFK clickable skills in the game now. Right, yeah, not worthy of a feature in Rune News. So instead we've got Oomph. You guys might remember Oomph. He's one of the most well-known and incredibly racist, homophobic, anti-Semitic, piece of shit people in my community. Absolutely disgusting some of the shit that comes out of his mouth. But he's pulled Dragon Claws. That's two times he's pulled some rare items while you're still sitting there with your dick in your hand being poor as shit in the game. Which means racism wins again. But that's, uh, yeah, that's the message I'm sending today. You, you want to make money in Cox, I guess you just got to be a bad person like Oomph. That is it this week for Rune News, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all next week, and I'll be live tomorrow, hopefully going for the quest cave, which will be the final quest, um, sorry, let me rephrase that. The final quest of my quest cave tomorrow on stream will be Monk's Friend, so the monks can throw a party inside the monastery for me when I get my quest cave, and I want all of you to come by. So tomorrow on stream, yeah, around the time this video's been recorded, which means nothing to you guys, description down below should have my times. Come by to the live stream, we'll get the quest cave, we'll have a party at the monastery, and then we'll, uh, Start pulling some fat purples again. My name is Ryan Ryan. Thank you very much. You're watching Rune News. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him. God damn. Fuck me. Look at that boy. It's huge.